Hello everybody, welcome back to part two of this video series on this Universal Philison radio. This is the 13 inch large screen radio and I've had it for about a month. So let's get into it right now and let you know what I think about it. Let's do a quick review. So this 13 inch screen radio, this Universal one here comes in two configurations. One is the four gigabyte RAM plus 64 gigabyte ROM. And the other is the six gigabyte RAM plus 128 gigabytes of ROM memory. So this is the six plus 128 ROM. So this is the best or the biggest one that you can get. All right, we're gonna turn the vehicle on here because I'm gonna go through the radio a little bit here and I don't want it to die while we're doing this review. So, okay, let's turn down the fan a little bit here. After you've had it for a while here, you're gonna see this main screen here. This is the screen that you get and you cannot change any of whatever's on here. Like you press and hold, you can't uh, change any kind of the apps or anything like that. Let's go back. Okay, so anyway, what you're gonna get is your date and time. So today's April 29, 2023, it's Saturday at 2.40 in the afternoon. You can change this to military time, 24 hour system if you'd like that better. This is your speedometer. It can go up to 240 miles per hour if you can go that fast. And if you just tap on it, you are able to switch it between kilometers per hour or miles per hour. I'm in the United States of America and we drive with the miles per hour. So we leave it there and that does work very, very well. This speedometer is getting your speed from the GPS antenna that you install with the unit here. So if you wondering how it works or how it's connected or if you connected it correctly or if it's right or not, that's how it gets its speed, okay? Then you have your music here, which is basically the music that you have on the unit. If you use a USB dongle or USB or something like that to play music, that's how you'll be able to control it from the home screen here. Then you have your basic settings and your navigation. You cannot scroll left or right here. If you go into settings, you'll get like the basic settings of the unit primarily here, because if you go down to the bottom right and you swipe a little bit, you'll see other settings here and you can access the same thing as well. Settings on this whole thing here. Then you have your navigation and here you can set your default navigation system, which right now I, I'm testing out this app called Here We Go, which is, it was given to me by Phyllisin through the APK file. Now, if we switch over to APK files really quick here, the APK files, you can ask for these from fill us in, they'll email them to you probably, and then you'll save them on a USB drive, and then you'll plug it into one of your USB dongles that you have coming out of your radio that you've connected. Now to go into those USBs really quick, I have some notes here that I've tracked so that I can not forget what to mention on this radio. So the four pin USB cable is used for a wired car play or Android Auto, and the six pin dual USB is used to import music. It is also used to import any APK files. So right here, this white cable here, this is connected to the four pin USB cable just for the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And then you get two extra USB cables as well. And then those are used for music on USB drives or installing your APK files. So now going back to the screen in general here, you have your home button. You can always hit that. There's a little icon here that tells you kind of where you're at. Um, by the way, all I did was I kind of held down this a little bit and you can change wallpapers or switch to live wallpapers. So if you want to change a, a little bit of what it looks like, go into your wallpapers and you'll see a few of the stock ones once it loads up here, hit wallpapers down at the bottom. And so here's some wallpapers. It takes a little bit of time for them to load up. Also here, this little ghost button or whatever it is, brings up a smaller menu. You got home settings, go back, for example, accelerate. I don't know what this does, by the way. You click on it, nothing happens. It says accelerate success, clear memory. Okay, so maybe you're just clearing your memory, clearing this out, making it faster. There's your common apps that you can set if you want, like here's YouTube, boom. Now you got YouTube instantly, sorry, go back to here. And then you got your apps, which brings up all of the apps that you could have gotten from down here at the bottom right, okay? Here's some apps. Other than that, it's a cool little uh, instant feature here to quick access certain things that you wanna set up, okay? All right, now we'll just go down through here. We got music. This is music that you've stored on your unit itself, by the way. And then you have Bluetooth. So you got your phone set up, everything. By the way, if you have your phone connected to Bluetooth, you can do the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay wirelessly. 
which is nice. So obviously all your Bluetooth settings, music, calls, things like that. I don't have mine connected at the moment. And then, and it is by the way, really easy and quick and fast and easy to set up Bluetooth with your phone. Here you have the radio. Did you okay, know we got a commercial. Dealer so, could cost um, you money. There's my steering wheel controls by the way. So here, it's pretty nice and easy to change your stations even with your steering wheel controls. You've got cool little radio settings as well that you can play around with if you want or need to. Here I've got US selected. Here's the back button by the way. And then this button by the way is all of your recent apps and I can just close everything really quickly. Go back into radio. But yeah, this goes really easy. You can change things like editing the channel or add to radio all of this information here. So the radio is super easy. And by the way, tapping up here you get just like your phone you get a little drop down menu of all this cool little stuff here you can change your brightness settings which by the way this is the lowest it goes and at nighttime this is still pretty bright i don't know how to get it even lower on the brightness so it's a 10 inch screen so if it if it's actually it's not a 10 inch screen did i mention it's actually a 13 inch screen sorry this is the largest screen that they provide and so that's probably why it shows off a lot of light but that's maybe eye comfort okay eye comfort hit that button it'll kind of give it a little yellowish tinge so it gets rid of the blue light so at nighttime maybe that'll help you drive and then it doesn't blind you turn off the screen there you go turn it back on just touch it. and then clean memory standby and you want to sleep mode no but you can do that and then you can reboot the system okay so let's go back down here here's your apps a few different apps that come with it i haven't tested them all out just the important ones you can watch chrome or surf the internet here things that you want from there here's your steering wheel controls now really quick it's super easy to do the steering wheel controls I showed you that in the previous video but what I noticed is that if you switch to vertical or portrait mode and I do by the way have to move this lever out of the way now the steering wheel controls don't work anymore because they were set up with the unit in landscape mode and vice versa if you set it up in portrait mode when you switch to landscape mode you lose your steering wheel controls it's annoying Phyllison told me that is probably the CAN bus or the little unit that comes with your wiring harness to keep the steering wheel controls that it's not able to recognize which mode it's in so to fix that you can also swipe up and you'll see that you have your volume buttons manually here too as well so if you don't want to play around with redoing your steering wheel controls each and every single time have it set up in the mode that you use more often if it's landscape or portrait and then in the other mode when you switch when you rotate screens just go ahead and swipe up from the bottom and you get the little extra buttons down here so we're going to put this back into um landscape mode which i always have to get the gear shift lever out of the way and have to pay attention to the windshield wiper thing here so in the jeep patriot it's a little bit too large we're probably going to downsize it to the 10 inch screen so that we have a little bit more room here uh, at least it is clear of the vents here when it's in landscape mode other than that we have an equalizer and a couple other apps that are self-explanatory right maps netflix hulu the Netflix and Hulu and stuff, you kind of think you have to, add, you can try and get it from the Play Store, but I got these from the APK files. So let's go through the list of things that I wrote down here so I could remember what I wanted to say in this radio review. So for example, I had an issue with my audio being super loud. I didn't know how to adjust that. But when the audio is super loud, even when you have it really low, like say you had one, but it was super loud, what you need to do is go to your settings, go down here, the second menu here, hit sound, and then if you see this power conditioning, if that's up really loud, it's gonna be super loud when you're low up here. So adjust that how you see fit. I think around 10 is pretty good. So let's see if we can get to the radio so you can understand a little bit what I'm talking about. Um, all right, see that's super loud. So it's, not, it's a little bit more normal or in sync if I'm got this audio a little bit lower. And so we'll go all the way down because I don't want to get any copyright strikes on YouTube here. So that's how you fix your audio if it's super loud, even when you have the volume really low. So going back to the USB cables here, Phyllis in gave me a little bit more information of how these are used. You should not use the four pin single USB cable to connect USB devices, which is the USB cable you use for your CarPlay or Android Auto, because the design definition is used for wired CarPlay and Android Auto. Similarly, CarPlay and Android Auto can also be 
connected wirelessly, which requires your phone uh, or Android phone to be connected to the radio's Bluetooth first. So if you use the four pin USB for USB devices, it might cause the radio screen to go off. To avoid that, just make sure you use the USBs, the four pin and six pin differently for what they're actually supposed to be used for. So let's go into equalizer here because it's really neat how you can really customize all of your audio to your liking and everything. Here at the bottom, you can still do your rear, front, left and right, driver side, co-pilot, rear, all quick settings here. And then here you can really adjust your surround space to what you like. And here you have bass enhancement. I really love bass because I like electronic dance music. So you can turn those up or play with the settings how you want here and you got your rate uh, settings that you can play around with to make it sound really good according to what you like. And so that's your equalizer. File manager, here's all the files that you have on the radio. If you have APK files, photos, audio, things like that. It's really neat that you can, and you go here to your file manager when you have USB stuck in your USB cable. Gallery, let's see, HD DVR. So if you had a camera set up, you can use that app to see what the cameras are looking at. A couple other apps, navigations here, video, movie apps, music players, movies, and your Google Maps. And you have an operation guide that you can go into if you need to, you know, learn how to use certain things in the vehicle. It's really cool. Play Store radio, radio, obviously, settings. So here's your settings. We'll go in that real in a little bit here. Hold on. Let's go through a Spotify, YouTube, voice search. The voice search and the audio mic works really good with your phone and Android audio CarPlay when you have the microphone connected to your vehicle that came with the radio. So it's really sweet. Okay, let's go into settings here. Kind of go through here. So here's your Wi-Fi. Connect to your Wi-Fi at home if you want or your phone's hotspot so that you can get all kinds of different things here to use if you want uh, to watch videos or things on Hulu, Netflix. Data usage. Now the Wi-Fi is here, but there's no, I tried to use the SIM card and it does not work on here, which is clearly spelled out in the Amazon listing so I didn't have high hopes. I'm not saying it's a, it's a mark or negative about this video or this radio because I knew what I was purchasing when I was getting it said it clear as day that it does not work for the US regions. Then you have more here <clears throat> so you can do all of this uh, airplane mode or other network settings obviously not the hotspot. Here you have your display brightness level this is where I also tried to minimize the brightness as much as possible at nighttime at least auto black screen you can change if you want then the sound this is very important you can turn off your keypad tones if it's annoying to hear the beeps and stuff and you can change your loudness settings or your amplifier on or off rotate the screen tones now by the way going back to the amplifier this radio has its own amplifier in it and my Jeep also has amplifier in it so they might conflict with each other depending on how this works. So I turned it off because I'm trying to use the Jeep's amplifier since we already have one. Subwoofer discussions here so you can change the settings there, how strong you want it. Your equalizer, you go back to the equalizer page and that's it here. Your settings, brake wire for the video in motion so when I go into reverse automatically, it brings up the video which is nice, the rear view camera. You can mute, mute audio when you're reversing or Change other types of settings here based on what you like. I'm trying to see if there's anything interesting. Here's steering wheel settings, you can go back there. Your navigation app, here's where you can set your default navigation if you'd like. This setting here, the password is 3368. It's on their Amazon listing. So if you want a little bit more secret settings here, go ahead and access it here. Your radar display on your rear camera you can change here I don't have that option anyway I mean I can see it but it doesn't adjust to my steering wheel anyway so it's kind of pointless to have that on and here you can do a little bit more cool things like volume balance settings so if you want your radio to be louder than your Bluetooth phone whatever you can change it like that uh, car model what did I put here I, I think there you can type in this is a Jeep Patriot but eh, we'll do null right now we'll look at it later if you want, you can change it. So anyway, MCU upgrade, you can upgrade your microcontrol unit, touchscreen calibration, all kinds of little deeper settings here to get into. This menu down here, you can choose to have your location being used or not, or track security, 
different options there. Languages, Google settings, if you want to change your Google settings under your account, first you have to sign in, by the way. Application settings, so if you want to be able to be able to touch any of the settings inside of these applications, make sure you turn them on. And delay power off when the ACC off. So you can, I, I think we'll leave it at three seconds. So when you turn off the vehicle, this will turn off automatically after three seconds. And then here, adjust your date and time, developer options, things like that. 3368 for more settings here. It's really cool that you can get in a lot deeper here if you need to use any additional settings. So I think that wraps up the review of this Philison 13 inch screen universal radio. In general, I probably give it about eight to nine out of 10 stars. It worked pretty simple and easy. Once you get all of the wiring soldered up to your OEM's cable, then everything was super easy to install and all of that. The radio does work more or less the way it should. It's just a kind of a pain in the butt that the steering wheel controls only work when you have a setup in a certain position. But I don't know if it's a fault of the radio or if it's the box or CAN bus or something that comes with it. At the end of the day, you still are able to change your volume settings down here. My main thing is I got the steering wheel controls to work and they work. It's really cool to have a big screen, especially when you're using GPS or other things on here if you wanna watch movies and things like that. The 13 inch screen is a little bit too large for the Jeep Patriot. I would recommend going down to the 10 inch one, but again, I knew what I was buying, but just keep that in mind if you have a vehicle this small or if you have other things kind of in your way with like shifter knobs and things like that, maybe you wanna try out the 10 inch one instead of the 13 inch screen. Other than that, all of the menus are super easy to access and go through. It starts up pretty fast and I don't really have too many complaints. So I really enjoy using the radio. I think you guys will as well. If you guys have any comments or questions regarding this radio, let me know in the comments section. I'll try to answer you. But yeah, go ahead and pick yourself up one of these radios, either the 13 inch or the 10 inch one. I doubt you'll be disappointed. Everything should work perfectly fine and it's really sweet and cool. You have all these features on here that you can use now. And it's probably really great for road trips as well because you can watch videos and you have a nice screen for that GPS. Thanks a lot for watching. Go ahead and click like and subscribe. And if you hate this video, guys, you know what to do. Just go ahead and click that thumbs down button twice.